Avengers Endgame is a truly unprecedented movie-going experience, a generational event. Walking out of that theater Thursday evening, the only thing that I could think about was the New York Giants drafting Daniel Jones at six? At six? Are you kidding me? <laughs> It's only fitting that Endgame breaks the opening weekend domestic box office record, say that five times fast, but it's rapidly becoming apparent Endgame will shatter almost every conceivable box office record. Today, I want to walk you through the records Endgame has already broken and project which ones it will break with certainty. The goal here is to give context to Endgame's absolutely ballistic opening weekend. Let's start with the biggest opening day of all time. Endgame comes in at 157 million in North America, both the biggest jump in percentage and earnings ever in this category. Previous record holders were The Force Awakens with 119 million, Infinity War last year with 106 million, The Last Jedi with 104 million, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 at 91 million. Breaking this down a little further, Endgame also had the biggest preview showings, that's what we call Thursdays now that Friday midnight screenings are a thing of the past. Endgame came in with 60 million, a small jump over The Force Awakens 57 million all the way back in December of, I want to say, 2015. And if we look, of course, at the opening weekend overall, Endgame comes in right now at an estimated whopping 350 million dollars a whopping 36 percent jump and 93 million in revenue more than the previous record holder last year's avengers infinity war previous record holders were the force awakens at 247 million the last jedi at 220 million and jurassic world at 208 million now, it's no longer in the top five, of course, but it's worth mentioning that the first movie to break 200 million was, of course, The Avengers. This is absolutely the biggest jump ever in the opening weekend category, at least in terms of revenue. In terms of uh, percentages, from what I could tell, the largest percentage jump in this category came decades and decades ago when Return of the Jedi opened 60% larger than The Wrath of Khan in 1983. So now let's look at the global opening overall, and, and this is where it gets a little bit murky depending on how you play with the numbers. Uh, before I get to Endgame's numbers, let's recap what's, I guess, now going to be numbers two through five on this list. Infinity War, current record holder, was 640 million. Behind that, fa the Fate of the Furious with 542 million. Behind that is The Force Awakens with 529 million, and fifth is Jurassic World with 525 million. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. Infinity War and The Force Awakens did not open with the benefit of the China market. In China, those films released a little bit down the road. However, Jurassic World and The Fate of the Furious did include China in their opening weekend. So really, global opening can be a bit of a misnomer since sometimes it includes the number two market in the world and sometimes it doesn't. That's, that's a pretty big factor. Anyways, Endgame did open with China, and it's going to bow with around 1.1 billion in the opening window. It might take a little bit longer to, to get an exact number here, but I mean, it, it's a staggering jump, almost twice as much as the previous record holder. And even if we just count, because opening window at this point is no longer just opening weekend. This film's been playing in China as early as Tuesday. So even if we want to look at the first three days of this five-day window, Endgame still, in its first three days, grossed $643 million. Finally, I want to take the data that we have and project forward to see how well this film will do over the next couple of months. So taking the $350 million opening weekend, if it performs as poorly as Deathly Hollows did over the length of its run, and Deathly Hollows did trail off very quickly after the opening weekend, showing it that the finale factor had a lot of upfront demand. If Endgame performs like Deathly Hollows Part 2, it will end up with $787 million in North America. I don't think it'll be that low. I think $800 million domestic is a lock. If it performs like Age of Ultron, it would finish with $840 million. If it performs like Infinity War, it'll end with $910 million. And if it performs like the original Avengers film, it'll end up with a whopping $1 billion 
and $50 million. Now, I personally don't think it will cross $1 billion. My personal prediction is that Endgame ends up with somewhere between $825 million and $875 million domestic, finishing second all-time behind The Force Awakens and its $936 million haul, and ahead of Avatar, which sits at $760 million. There is more competition this May than Infinity War had to deal with. Off the top of my head, Detective Pikachu opens in a couple weeks. We have a Godzilla film at the end of the month, and I know there's at least one other blockbuster. John Wick. I wouldn't call John Wick a major blockbuster, but I know it's out there. I know it has a fan base. I'll be there opening night. There's a lot of competition. I also think with this unprecedented opening weekend, it will burn off some of that you know, demand that might have been out there that normally would have waited uh, until weekends two or three, much like Deathly Hollows, how Deathly Hollows burned off a lot of demand up front. I don't think this burned off as much demand early on as Deathly Hollows, but I think it is a factor. At the end of the day, I think Avengers Endgame will gross somewhere between 2.5 and 2.7 billion dollars worldwide. I don't think it has what it takes to topple Avatar. There's uh, a phenomenal range of reasons for that, starting with the fact that Avatar had the winter time frame all to itself, and that operates completely different than May. But nonetheless, Endgame will finish the number two film of all time. Yes, this will be the film to break James Cameron's monopoly on the global box office. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for more right here. Yes, James, we hear the song. <laughs>